Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Lyre, L-I-R-E, like the musical instrument, and our quest to find the perfect RSS reader for iPad uh, iOS. Buckle up. So this is the interface of Lyre. It is fairly standard. It looks nice. It's got a nice two column view. Something I have appreciated about it is, let's find an article with a bit of text in it. Reading view, fairly nice. I like that. Uh, it works well. I, I like the font size. Font sizes are good. I like the overall look of Lyre. It's just a nice overall app. One feature it has that keeps coming up is bionic reading. I have no idea why, but it has bionic reading. It also has uh, different uh, font choices if you want. You can adjust your font size, adjust the margins, adjust the line spacing, title, weight, height, all that stuff. That's good. Change the font face. It's got lots of options, all the system options. Open dyslexic, uh, which is cool if you need that. And then it's got uh, arrows here to go back and forth, right? So I can go to my next article. Um, and this works actually with trackpad, which is excellent. That's actually the only thing that I think does in the interface work with the trackpad, right? So to mark something as read or unread, you don't actually have, oh, this is hard. So one of the issues right now is I'm hitting the up and down arrow keys. And as you can see, nothing is happening. Nothing is happening because it's the left and right arrow keys that do this, which just don't make any sense to me. <laughs> Why? Because I want to go up and down articles. I need to go left, right, right? I believe left, right should be able to go right. I'd hit right to go into the article. I'd hit left to go back over to navigate less of like my subscriptions area, stuff like that. But that's not what it does. One of the issues. Another issue you have here, I'm going to hold the command key. Our keyboard commands come up and what can I do? I can sync. I can change how I filter things and see. Uh, but I can't mark the articles red. I have to reach up to the interface and then I have to go right here. It's actually fairly small here. We'll mark it as unread. Let's flip that. But then if I go like just a little bit farther, it wants to bring up, or I keep bringing this up regularly as I try to swipe, right? Mark is unread. I try to swipe and I would often, as I did it, bring this up because it just seems like it's a little, the tolerance is just a little too tight. And the UI, there you go, there it changes. So it's, all right, mark is on red and there. So I find, I have found that it's, now that we're talking about it, it doesn't seem like it's that bad, but I have found it to be annoying. And it doesn't work with, right, two finger swipes don't work. Uh, can I, nope, drag and drop. So I can drop to share if I want. That's interesting. I didn't know it did that. Interesting, but on the whole, eh, two finger click gives us open a new window and there we have some commands here. So if you're navigating with your trackpad, I'm using the Apple Magic Trackpad 2, then we have some more stuff. But if you're not, if you're trying to do it with your keyboard, then it's not going to work. Some of the other things we can do here is we can filter, right? I'm on all filtered. We can go to unread, which is, I don't remember where it defaults, but that's kind of what I do all the, all the time. One tough part to that actually is if we hit, I believe it's space, then I don't know if you saw the UI, but as it went away, it actually totally took it out of the list already. I don't know if I love that aspect of it, because if I want to go back and say, oh, yeah, OK, this is good. I am going to read it. It's actually just gone. I, I can't go back to it. Um, I prefer if it left it there and then gave you some sort of or when you refreshed, it cleared it. Right. You see that in unread. I can mark something. Let's go to unread. And back to un, unread. All right. I could go into this read it if I wanted or say, oh yeah, I do really want to read that later. And then I can just mark it as unread and keep going. All right. I can also mark something as unread from here, which is cool. And then they have a unread has a shift command X just clears the interface for you, which a liar doesn't have. Let's refresh again. Uh, what else do we like about this? It's got hot links. Like I said, with fiery feeds, I don't actually use hot links. I never, I don't follow enough feeds that link stuff. It's got com feeds, things that don't do a lot. Linked list. Uh, there you go. The newsprint is considered a linked list. I don't know why. Does it show all of them in there? I am not sure that it does. Maybe it did. Um, it shows your authors, so who your different authors are, if you want to go look by author. And so that's 
I'm actually anonymous. So something in my, um, the headers on my site for RSS don't show my author. So I need to fix that. What came out today, only one. Uh, yeah. And also I believe it has a high frequency feed list that I don't have discover. There you go, show com feed options, show authors. So there's all our options right there. All right, shows my subscriptions and lets me to add them nicely. Go down to feed bin. We, here's our sync options. There's lots of them, right? Standalone, no syncing. We can use Bazquicks. Never heard of that. Every time I do this, I find another one that I have never heard of. Uh, all right, lots of different ones. Nothing, you know, there's, you know, it's a good list. You should catch most of the stuff, right? I kind of feel like feed bin, feed HQ, feedly, uh, feed wrangler is one that's in a bunch. News blur are kind of the, the topest ones. I don't know about some of the other ones. And then under our settings, we also have sync mode, right? We're going to feed bin, you can adjust sync there. Gives us user interface sounds, which I have never actually heard, so I have no idea. They're on though, I don't actually hear them ever. Uh, we can switch our font, we can switch our theme. There's some decent themes in here. Light mode theme is system, dark mode theme night. All right, there's classic. I do actually like this classic theme, except for the fact that there's just no line between the articles. I wish there was a little bit of a line, and then I would probably use that one. Let's go theme and back to system. Right, and there's day as well, which I don't know what the difference is between system and day. Uh, you can switch your icon. I never get this. It's got an icon, great. I never get why that's like a big feature that everyone loves about apps, but it is. Discover, right? How to show your hot links. We saw that already. That's accessibility options, some caching options, sync options. Uh, when to sync. You can set up how you want your article, full screen on scroll. All right, open in full text view. There's a lot of good options in here. You can do bionic reading if you want. Mark is red as you scroll through things. Drag and drop works. Thumbnails are small. And there's a lot of good stuff in here, I think. But what honestly kept coming down to as I looked at this app was the keyboard commands here. Like I always wanted to go up and down. I'm sure you can hear my keyboard clacking away. The Echo 3068 which I know I reviewed and said was not stellar, but with iPadOS 13.4, when it allowed you to remap keys across the bottom row, it actually got really good. It's my preferred iPad keyboard now. Um, yeah, and the fact that I can't mark this as red, like I wanna hit M and be able to mark it as red, but there's nothing there. And it sucks, because there's actually like a good set of keyboard commands over here too, right? We can navigate between articles, we can close the article. And B seems like a weird choice. I have escape there as well, right? So, um, but again, to mark as, so mark as unread is M, mark as red is R. I think these things should be toggles. Like mark as red, mark as unread, just make it M. That's it, it marks it as red or unread, that's it. So I can do it here, right? Mark as unread, I can hit escape. Perfect, I've got it there. But again, up and down arrow do nothing, lefts and rights do stuff. This doesn't make any sense to me. And that's kind of all I got for this. I actually found this one as a hard one to kind of force myself through because literally because of the keyboard commands, because keyboard commands were annoying. And I kept looking at it and be like, this isn't working like I want. This is a pain in the butt. And I was not enjoying my RSS time. So that's all I got to say about that, I guess, as Mr. Forrest Gump would say. If you like the video, you can subscribe below by hitting subscribe and then you hit the bell and then YouTube gives you notifications, but then you go to your devices and you make sure you turn notifications off. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, then you can go over to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale and support the channel so that videos keep coming into your notification stream. Have an excellent day.